Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, uh, in this session, I'm going to solve question number three. We have done this in class, and some of you already um sent me how to answer the questions. So here you go. Uh, I'm going to solve one by one. So I hope that you really understand on how to solve this kind of equation. This is double angle, okay? So I need you guys to <clears throat> get ready with me, uh, with the double angle formula. So, because I'm gonna use uh, cos 2x here, that's why I write here the formula here, okay? So, we are going to use this in order to solve this kind of question, okay? In this question, we see that cos 2x minus 3 sine x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, how are we going to solve this equation if this is double angle and this is a uh, single angle? So, what you need to do first is that you have to reduce the angle meaning that you have to change this to be a single angle so in, in cos 2x we had we have three formula one we have this one two we have two cos square x minus one and the third one is one minus two uh, sine square x so what you need to do is that because the question use sine sine x we have to find we have to use the formula that only use sine so one two three only the third uh, formula use the sine right so what i need to do is that i i change this cos 2x to be one minus two sine square x so i'm going to rewrite the equation uh, the the questions and i will solve this okay so, so let's solve this. So I'm going to rearrange. The equation to be like this. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So you know that here we got negative 2 sine square x. Minus 3 sine x plus 2 equals to 0. Okay, so what you need to do is that you have to make sure that this term have to be positive. So I have to multiply this with negative 1 in order to make this to be positive. So I will get 2 sine square x plus 3 sine x minus 2 equals to 0. Okay, so this is like solving quality equation. Solving quadratic equation. So, I know you understand how to do this. So, let's say it is actually like this. So, how to solve this? Just using, just by using the, your calculator, you will get 2x minus 1. x plus 2 equals to 0. Now, change back. You will have 2 sine x minus 1. And sine x plus 2 equals to 0. Okay. So. I have to make sure that both are equal to 0. 2 sine x minus 1 is equal to 0. And another one is sine x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now let's solve this. 2 sine x equals to 1. So sine x equals to 1 over 2. And this one will be sine x equals to negative 2. Now, if you calculate, if you press the calculator, shift sign negative 2 is equals to math error. So, we see that there's no solution for, for this. Okay? So, we are focusing only for this. So, sine x equals to 1 over 2. When you solve x, you will get... What do you get? you get it is equals to 30 degree so that is the reference angle at quadrant one because this is positive so you should have the, the value should be in quadrant one and quadrant two so how to get in quadrant two so 180 degree minus 30 degree then you will have the answer will be 30 degree and 150 degree that's all